Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brendan Mania. I'm here today with a box of Chronicles, a little blaster box. I haven't bought any of these in a while. Chronicles is usually my least favorite set, so I usually don't buy them at all, but everyone's been saying that they're so loaded this time around. I decided to buy one and see what happened. I literally bought this because Joe's card stash told me to in his video. So if there's nothing in here, it's his fault. <laughs> but uh, I decided I'd give it a chance with one box. I probably won't buy any more. I just want to see what it's like. See what my experience is with this one box. I just don't like the way Chronicles looks usually. It's like, or at least last year. Was, I bought a bunch last year and they were like white and red and ugly and boring. And I imagine it'll probably be the same this time around. Which it looks the same. It looks just like this. Oh, the little rookie shield's kind of hard to see up there. Miranda Maverick. Dustin Poirier. Got Derek Lewis. I think that's just a base insert. Who's this? Dan Ege. I uh, haven't seen any of these. What is this? Yair Rodriguez. And I did get a Alex Pereira numbered rookie card. That's pretty cool. Ooh, and a cool little... Right, I'll give them credit. They do have some cool looking uh, inserts like this. Dustin Jacoby. I don't know if I should sleep that. Those look pretty cool. I'm actually excited about this though. Alex Pereira numbered rookie card. Nice. I was hoping if I was going to get an autograph that it would be an Alex Pereira. Um, rookie autograph, that'd be awesome. Uh, I know I bought a bunch of select boxes and I've only gotten a couple of numbered cards besides the gold ones, so. I guess, uh, people are right about there being hits in here. First pack, there was a numbered card. Alright. Brandon Roy Vaughn, Amanda Lemos, rookie card, Charles Oliveira, Jessica Andrade on the season ticket, another insert that I'm not really a fan of, who is this, Lucas Almeida, rookie card, another Brandon Roy Vaughn, and a Halo Jiri Prakashka. Just lost to uh, Alex Pereira. Was this called Elite? They have so many cool looking inserts, and like I have a bunch of like Kamza rookie cards from this set, and I don't know what any of them are called. <laughs> so if I'm to grade them, I'm gonna have to do some research because I have like 20 of Kamza's rookie cards, and they're all different. They're all. Not much info to go off of. Right, I'm having some problems opening these packs. Something dark in the background. In the back of me. Muslim Salikov. Don't know who that is. Nate and Levy, rookie card. Clay Guida. Hey, Jack Della Madalena. It's a nice rookie card. What is this? Prestige Jim Miller. I think that's just a base card. Got Holly Holm. And Michael Chandler. Hey, another numbered card. Numbered at a 99. On whatever this is called. That's what I mean. Like, what do I call this? It's just got a big eye on it. Chronicles is the set with a million different like parallels.
of which I know the name of none of them. I think I see a print line. I'm not sure if that's on the, the actual card or the sleeve I just put it in. But So that's two numbered cards, so that's better than any select box I've gotten so far. Let's see what else is in here. We got an Ian Gary. He's devaluing himself by talking nonstop. Got a Ronnie Yaya. What is this? Sergey Pavlovich. Just lost to uh, Tom Aspinall, I believe, for the title for the interim title. Legacy Khabib and Magomedov. It's just to insert. Who's this? Josh Emmett. So many different types of cards in here. Sadiq Yusuf. Oh, that's another numbered card. Sadiq. At a 2.99. That's a cool looking Usman. Evolution. Is this something special? I have no clue. It looks cool. It looks really cool. I feel like I've seen people post cards like this that were case hits, but uh. Off the top of my head, I have no idea. I will say it's the coolest looking card I've pulled so far. Usman is severely undervalued, so if this is a case hit, that would be amazing out of the one box that I pulled. I will look that up after this video, but uh, as of right now, I have no idea. So sorry about that. Like I said, I don't usually open Chronicles. But apparently they loaded, so I got the numbered uh, Sadiq. This pack feels fatter. I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. I'm going to open it last anyway. Probably just my imagination, but just in case, I'm going to open it last. Javid Bashar, Basharat, <laughs> probably said that wrong. Mackenzie Dern, Jeff Neal, rookie season ticket of Julian Rosa, Taylor Santos, there's a good rookie, Aaron Blanchfield, and what is this? Another evolution, so maybe they're not cases. Let's see, this one looks different, so I don't know. I have no idea because this one looks like this and this one looks like this they both just say evolution at the top but this one has stars and this one has some other weird design so either they all just have a different pattern or they're different types I don't know very possible they all just have their own pattern but it looks cool I like this design more than this one, but these are two goats right here. Amanda Nunez and uh, Kamara Usman. All right, the pack that felt fatter. Let's see if it actually is or if it's just my imagination. I can't open these packs, I don't understand. Another Aaron Blanchfield rookie card. I know it's pronounced Jamal, but it's spelled Jamaha, so I'm going to call him Jamaha Hill. Armin Sarukian. Who is this? Another Amanda Nunez. Paulo Costa. This one's backwards. All right, we got Clay Guida. Hey, we did get a rookie auto. We got Patrick Sabatini. A very strange auto. It looks like a G and an 8. Wow. It is a little bit uh, thicker than other cards, so I guess that's why. 
I don't know if every auto is like that, but if it is, you can definitely tell where the autos are. So I wouldn't buy any single packs out there because I knew that pack felt thicker without knowing there was an auto in it, but I, I knew it felt thicker. And I was right. Here's the Clay Guida. So, top of my head, no idea who this is. I'm going to have to look this guy up. But, uh, yeah. Looks like Joe was correct. These, these little blaster boxes are loaded. Hopefully this guy's good. I have no idea. I'll look him up. It's a nice little rookie auto. We got like four numbered cards, three numbered cards. We got whatever this Clay Guida is. Aaron rookie card. Whatever these evolution inserts are called, they look pretty cool. I like the designs on those. They have a lot of cool designs in this set, but there's just so many designs. There's so many different types of cards. Here's one of our numbered cards. Here's another numbered card, Michael Chandler, if anyone collects him. Got a Jiri. It's a nice hollow uh, Dustin Jacoby. I thought this would be numbered. It looks like one of the select cards that's numbered to 49. It's got like the same pattern, the same coloring. Oh yeah, we got the Pereira numbered rookie card. Man, I wish it was his auto. That would have been nasty. Well, yeah, that was definitely more fun than all the select boxes I opened up. But, uh... So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's worth buying a box. I mean, I got three numbered cards, one of them, and then a, uh, a rookie auto, the numbered Pereira, two division champ now, not simultaneously, but still. So, yeah, I still think the cards are mostly ugly, like this. This is an ugly card. The inserts are cool and all, but these are all ugly, especially, like, they're all the same red and white, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm still waiting on my other PSA return. They haven't even graded it yet. They haven't even looked at it. It's not even listed. It's been there for like three months. It's a dual grading service though, so it's going to take a long time. It's taken a lot longer than last time, so that's unfortunate, but I'm stuck waiting for it. So, In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you next time.